Hi guys, welcome back to Laravel 5.4 for beginners from Web Technologies. We'll be looking at service container. So we're going to head straight to the web.php, which is the routes. I'll write there in the wrap. So we have our web.php. Uh, right at the top, we're going to be uh, explaining some details when it comes to services. Let me just run this app. Wanna bind. So I'm actually going to call on the directory app backslash dealing. Probably we want to generate API keys or something, you know, stripe. That's fine. So you can actually run a method afterwards, but we're just going to close this out with a function. That's fine. Right there, we'll do something of that nature. So you have that set. I'm going to return the value. A new instance. App. Billing. Stripe. What about we're going to point at the config? We have a config directory. That's fine. So we'll be pointing at that. And uh, right inside the config, we're actually going to look at just the config. Let me collapse this. The services.php. What about we're talking about? Uh, you can make reference to the mailgun, which is for your domain and secret. Uh, we'll be making re reference to the Stripe. What about we'll be creating a secret Stripe key? So back to the web PHP. Now we're going to call on services stripe secret let me show you again how the path flows services is the file call on the stripe i call on the secret which will reference the stripe secret we'll create that in the environment file we'll get to do that later on so you're going to have something of this nature uh Right there in the config, we have the secret, so that's fine. Now, so right there, or uh, in the function, this should close up and run. Should be gone. That's fine. Let's close this right there. So save. Uh, so we actually going to be creating this for the user. How about we have the stripe variable? Of course, uh, make feeling stripe. We don't have that set, so we need to actually create that dd call variable so let's create uh, the class stripe.php that we've been referencing this is actually going to sit in the app so we actually going to create a new folder called billing and inside this billing create a new file called stripe.php that's fine so in say stripe the php anchor tag now we need a namespace namespace which will be pointed at R. 
Eileen. Let's have our class. Stripe. And I will create a field called protected, which is actually going to be the key. Let's have a method. Construct this time, constructor. Pass in the key as a parameter. And uh, we initialize this class. to the value of the parameter passed in key. Save that. So back to the web PHP. Now we have the method that point that binds the stripe, but we return the new stripe that points to the config services stripe secret, which is right there. Well we have secrets services over here and you have the secret key so we're actually going to be creating the secret key right there in the env which is the environment variable now i created a variable that actually points to the stripe class which points us down to this so that's fine uh let's try to switch to chrome and let's see maybe we're going to have an instance of stripe So let's run the Homestead app. So if you notice, we have the stripe, but the key is null because we actually have not created any key, not generated any key right there in the environment. So we are actually going to generate this key and we get that set. So we go back to the services PHP. So we actually need to generate this key which is a stripe secret. So we actually going to do that right in the env. This env is like the metadata of your Laravel project, you know, and you save key in the environment session. So they won't be part of your version control, but it's going to be on a standalone. So that's always recommended to do. Now I'm going to set it stripe underscore secret which will be equals to so let's have our key right so we'll save and let's uh, get a refresh right at Chrome do you notice that the key has been assigned so this is actually uh, useful when you're setting up API keys or you are uh, trying to generate a secret key uh, for probably most especially APIs use uh, keys to uh, gain access to the use of an API. So this is just how to go about assigning API keys and getting them used in different methods. So, but if you should notice, the web PHP is actually housing this and I don't think this should be here. So in the service uh, provider, uh, we're going to talk about where to actually place your service container and how to refresh to them. So stick glue. Uh, we'll be moving to service provider. I'm explaining that in details. So don't go anywhere. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a pleasant time.